Hey, it's Josh Hewitt, Top Form Fitness. Once again, time to do it with Hewitt. And in this video, I wanted to talk about uh, phase one of my recovery plan for my bicep tear. And it's been right now two weeks after my surgery, and I just recently got the stitches out and the sling off. So there were three incisions, um, one just uh, above the bicep, close to the pec, where they had opened up to uh, pull the bicep up and uh, attach it on uh, just under where the pec insertion is apparently. And there were two incisions up at the top of the shoulder where they had to clean up where it had some arthritis. So now I'm clear to start introducing active range of motion. And the corrective exercise of the recovery protocol is the same as I've used for most of my injuries. You can check back in some of my other videos. And I'm actually going to refer to the shoulder, how to fix your shoulders video that I've posted before. A lot of that will be very similar to what I'm going to be doing for this injury. So I will link that up here in the screen as well as down below. So the protocol basically starts with rest and immobilization, which is the phase I just finished. And then moving on to active range of motion, which is I'm going to demonstrate in this video now. And then carrying on to isometric exercise, which is the next phase. And then moving on to isolateral movement, which is basically just uh, isolation movements for the affected side and then incorporating them into compound movements down the road. But right now let's look at some of the exercises we're going to be using for active range of motion just to start introducing range of motion without resistance around the shoulder. So as far as active range of motion it's pretty basic. We just want to introduce range of motion around the shoulder into flexion, extension, internal rotation, external rotation and sort of gradually introduce range of motion without any external loading or any isometric engagement. So first of all, I'm going to look at my overhead range of motion. And it's getting much better actually already. I can achieve about this much range on my good side. This is where it starts to really lock up. So without introducing any passive range, I'm just holding where I can take it with my own muscular engagement and then relaxing. I'm going to repeat that two to three times for about six to ten second holds each. And then out to the sides, retracting the shoulder blades, and that's about as far as I can get it before it starts to become extremely uncomfortable. Again, six to ten seconds, and I would repeat that ooh, two to three times. And then same thing back at the sides. Not forcing any stretches and not using the external loading. And relax. And again, repeat several times. External rotation. I'm going to do this with the arm adducted to the side, holding. And internal rotation. Hand on the lower back and bringing the elbow back as far as it's comfortable. And then I'm also going to go into horizontal abduction out to the side as far as I can bring it. That's actually much better than it has been. This was a really tough one when I first got the sling off. And it's pretty tight all through the shoulder. And then from here, I'm going to bend to 90 degrees and work on external rotation in this abducted position. Internal rotation. And that's about as far as I can get right now. But We'll work, keep working on that. As part of the active range of motion protocol, we also want to work all of the muscles around the neck and shoulder blades. So I'll be doing isometric work into side bending, holding again six to ten seconds each side and repeating two or three times. And rotation. Try not to let your chin stick out. Pure rotation. Hold. Same thing, other side. These muscles really needed it after being in that sling all those times. And then scapular elevation, depression, protraction, and retraction. And pulling all of those, getting the muscles into the back working. I'm also working on actively fully extending of the elbow. Now I've almost regained complete range of motion here. So I'm contracting the tricep, just holding that arm to full extension, six to ten seconds, 
and then moving into full flexion. I'm not squeezing hard here. I don't want to pull on the anchor where they attach the bicep, but I'm just getting that full flexion and holding again for six to 10 seconds and repeating. So those are the primary movements I'm going to be working on. And then all different degrees of range throughout that into extension as well. All right, some of the exercises that I've been continuing to perform while I'm working on my active range here have been single arm exercises for my, my working side, so. I've still been performing single arm pulling movements for my non-injured side, such as one arm rows, as well as uh, single arm pull downs. So just holding a single handle to the lat pull down machine and doing pulls on my strong side. And single arm pressing movements such as a single arm chest press. I also do this with a cable machine as well. And the single arm overhead press. So most of the strength training I'm doing right now is just for my, uh, my right arm, for my unaffected side. Although I have found some ways to still train some of the muscles for my left arm while I'm healing. And one of them has been using an elbow strap, like for the hanging knee raises, and doing a scapular row so basically I'm just hooking the harness around my upper arm and just focusing on scapular retraction pulling the upper arm back so this doesn't put any stress on my bicep minimal strain on the shoulder joint itself and I'm able to still engage those muscles of course I'm still training lower body and core and now that my sling is off I can perform safety squats so I don't have enough range and stability in the shoulders to squat with a regular bar but this allows me to add squats into my lower body routine in addition to the leg extensions, leg curls, and step-ups that I was doing before. Alright, so this has been phase one of my recovery plan. Some more videos are coming up. Like I said, do check out the How to Fix Your Shoulders video. Again, I'm posting it down below as well as up here on the screen. I'll be posting more videos soon. Make sure you subscribe to stay updated. If you've got any questions or comments, post them down below. Until next time, stay strong.